talent shows. Before we get into it, some Bull My Shoes news. I moved. This is the new setup. Yeah. So personally, my least favorite kind of reality show are talent shows. You've got, you know, America's Got Talent, American Idol, The X Factor. But the one that I'll give an exception to used to air on the Canadian Kids Channel, YTV. I watched so much YTV as a kid. It was like Canadian Disney Channel. They had iCarly and Drake and Josh and SpongeBob. Actually, I don't know if those are on Disney Channel, but it was like the preteen channel for Canadian children. And the other day I was thinking about really weird shows that I used to watch when I was younger. And one that resurfaced, that just emerged from the depths of my mind was Zoinked. This show is a perfect example of that random XD, um, lols, lols. early 2000s era. So here I have season one, episode two of Zoinked. So I can't blame them on not having any budget. It's not the pilot. Let's just jump right into it. Hey, this is Zoinked. Hey, this is Bull My Shoes. We are not looking for the next singing superstar. Nor are we crowning Canada's best dancer. Like other talent shows, our performers have passion, commitment, and costume. They just might not have real talent. And so basically, it's like America's Got Talent, except the judges are kids, and the adults that perform for the kids don't actually have real talents, they just do zany things to try and make the kids like them. And if the kid judges don't like them, they get zoinked. Now what does getting zoinked mean, you may ask? That's what we're gonna find out today. Hello everyone, my name is Adam Chrissy and you are watching Zoink! I wonder what host Adam Chrissy is up to now. Let's look him up. Adam Chrissy is a Canadian stand-up comedian. He's most noted for his 2019 comedy album, General Anxiety Disorder, which received a Juno Award, oh, nomination. Adam Chrissy's actually killing it. Good for you, Adam. On this show, we present to you adults that think their odd, weird, zany talents will make kids laugh and win them $1,000. He says $1,000 as if it's like so much money. And like, yeah, for a kid who has no expenses, $1,000 is a lot of money to be spending on Pokemon cards. But these are adults competing. That's like one month's rent. <laughs> no, you know what? I could use a thousand dollars right now. Hit that like and ring that bell. Dang it. And if our kid judges don't laugh, they launch stuff at them. So basically getting zoinked is the kids like throwing things at them. But if they get three zoinks in a row, they get the ultimate, ultimate zoink, zoink, which is getting covered in goo. Yeah. Want to meet these judges? Or Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna roast the kid judges because they're literal children. Um, actually, these kids are probably like my age now, but still, I'm not gonna roast children. What I am gonna roast though is Adam Chrissy's questions that he asks them. If you could zoink your mom or your dad, who would it be? Next up is Wise. His name is Wise. Of course I'm gonna trust his opinion. His name is literally Wise. Now give it up for Alexa. I would have to be a cheetah. Why? Because they run super fast. Good answer, Alexa. I'm with you on that one. They are so fast. Now give it up for Neil. Neil's fit, perfection. Now, if you were on this show, if you were standing here and not there, what would your performance be on the show? Definitely some kind of dance incorporating backflips and corkscrews. Neil, were you not listening? He said no dancing. Canada's best dancer. Get with the program. If you get three zoinks before your time is out, you're gone. <laughs> <And> he... <laughs> the zoink sound effect that they used? Putrid. Absolutely disgusting. Also, Adam, what is the zoink liquid? Because it's clearly not water. What is the zoink juice, Adam? What is it really? Would you go did you go give yourself a little zoink before the show, Adam? Sick. Hailing from Toronto, Ontario, this next act calls himself Incredibrent. 
He better be in credit good or else he'll be in credit gooey. Boo! Guys, I'm here today because I want to tell you the story about a girl I met. And she was beautiful. She had big, beautiful eyes just like this. Not impressed. I could do that. Smile that went from cheek to cheek. I could do that. I met this girl and I fell in love. I could do that too. Easy. I can sing. Easy. I met this boy, the boy of my dream. It's true. The only one I could be. How is he doing it? Is it a puppet? It's a puppet. He's just a puppeteer. Easy. I could do that. First kiss, but she backed away, and all she could say was... You bet that performance was Steo's 20-day-year-old bread. I was a little unsure about this in the beginning, but then the mouth popped open, and I was like, oh, okay, this is gonna be really cool. And then the mouth popped open, I thought, Okay, uh, that's when he was sold. This is so sick. So I actually found this guy's website and he's still a magician in Toronto. Dude is thriving. He does magic with his wife. One of the best shows I've ever watched. This next performer is a self-proclaimed cat woman. No, 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 no. Eh. Zoinked, <laughs> like zoinked as fuck for me. I'm out. Why would you bring the cat girl on stage? Why would you do that? <laughs> this girl's reaction sums it up perfectly for me. Just complete discomfort and confusion. <laughs> Everyone hated that. <laughs> I'd rather be doing my homework than watching that. Alexa is brutal for that one. Damn, cutthroat judges. And when it's awesome, we have to call upon the Zoinked Goo Crew. I would like to point out that the cleanup team on set is called the Goo Crew. Just wanted to bring that to your attention. This next act says she's crazy about dragons. Some say funny, some say crazy. Our judges might say zoinked. Poor Adam, honestly. He probably hated this gig. This one has to be a joke. It has to be. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, they hated her as as they should. That was awful. It wasn't really funny, so I had to zoink, dear. Au contraire, it was outrageous. Okay, Neil, let's let's calm down. It's not that outrageous. It's an adult in a onesie. There are many of those. <laughs> this next guest is going to spin around in a ring. Oh, okay, so like a real talent, like someone who actually is a professional in a skill. Why did you bring him here? Like, this is actually impressive. Oh! I could do that. I could do that. Clip of me doing that right here. Natalie. That actually brought a poem to mind. A poem? Roses are red, violets are blue. I would barf if I were you. Sometimes wonder if like the kid judges write their own stuff or if it's improv, or if they have like a writer for them. Because like, that sounded so authentic. I mean, you were just like, spinning around and going crazy at two words, okay? Awesome. Thank you so, oh, whoa, whoa! Dude, Adam was even mind blown by that guy's handshake. He was so cool. I'm here with Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Hello. Okay, so now he does some audience participation. You know this next act, don't you? Yeah, my grandparents. Where he talks to the grandson of the next performers. And what are they doing? They're gonna be rapping. Brandon. And who put them up to this? Me. Brandon, why would you do that to your poor, poor grandparents? Why? James and Evelyn Ripley. I'm DJ eBay Ripley. I'm the oldest rapper in the game. You'll never see me in the garden making flowers grow. I'll be up in the street rapping. Making dough. Bars. Straight bars from the grandma. Let's fucking go. I have no idea what grandpa is saying, but. I'm the best of all these rappers, rappers. They fucking killed it. No, like that was incredibly wholesome. Okay, so for old people, you guys got swagger. Come on. Woo! Um, Judge Natalie, you're probably my age now since this was filmed in like 2012. Uh, if anyone watching this knows her or any of the other judges, 
Like genuinely, please leave a comment because I would love to get in touch with someone who has some like dirt on this show. If you have any connection with anyone who worked on Zoinked, please hit me up. Please, I'm begging you. Next guest is from Quebec. Boo. So this guy's talent is literally putting balls in his mouth. And then they bring like an actual comedian and voice actor on the show and he gets just fucking destroyed by everyone. Wow, it was wet. That was a big force. I was not expecting that so soon. No. Come on, man. Like, the joke writes itself. Wow, it was wet. So then they reveal the winner, which isn't even a surprise because they've been telling us the scores as we go. If you've been paying attention, you probably already know who's won. The winner and Zoic Master is Paul Perot. Obviously he won, like, obviously. Because that's like a real skill that requires perseverance and patience and strength and talent. Dare I say? Dare I say the T word? So that was zoinked. And it really got me thinking, you know, a lot of those talents I felt like I could do. I, I'm pretty good at being stupid on camera. So I think I'm going to send in my own zoinked audition. I mean, you know, the show hasn't been airing for quite a few years, but maybe they'll revive it just so I can make a guest appearance. Hello, kid judges, especially wise. My name is Bowl My Shoes, and today I will be showing you my wacky and zany talent of emotional juggling. Thank you for your consideration. See you soon, especially you, Adam Chrissy. Anyway. So I want to also quickly thank everyone for a thousand subscribers. That is huge to me and I really appreciate it. And like, I don't make these videos for views. I know everyone says that, but I actually don't. I've been learning so much about editing and I love talking to myself, so. And I do read uh, as many comments as I'm able to and they're very funny. You guys are hilarious, so keep it up. And once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.